Ski sip, ski sip. See that guy right there? Looks like he's on top of the world. Well, that guy's actually me. You're probably wondering how I got here. It all started in the summer of 18. Well, technically it started like three days ago because that's the only time frame the vlog covers. Anyways, here's the vlog. <laughs> Hello! Hello! And welcome to our video. So, before the video gets started, as you know, we're going on this big road trip. It's super exciting. Uh, we're talking to you in the future because we already went on the road trip. Whoa. Anyways, I have a brand deal, so you wanna go? You can get out Okay, bye. I kinda lied, I don't really have a brand deal. I actually, I also have AirPods in, what's going on? I actually decided to not do a brand deal for this video, so I could tell you about my own brand. Uh, so the ad read comes in the form of my company, Neptune. I'm just gonna tell you guys a little story about Neptune. So I started this company with my best friend, Caden, in high school. This was over two years ago. Essentially, it started out as a water bottle company. It was kinda like a small project, and we didn't really expect it to transform into much. So we sold 100 bottles at school, and we still had 900 left, 900 Neptune bottles. The reason I started YouTube was to sell those extra 900 bottles because we just had no other ways of doing it other than like door-to-door, -door, which we tried and it just wasn't very effective. At most, I expected my YouTube channel to maybe hit 1,000 subscribers uh, in a summer, and I ended up hitting like 10,000 subscribers that summer and I was like plugging these bottles in every video. Basically, I went to college to run D1 track and cross country, and essentially, I wasn't allowed to keep making these YouTube videos and selling these bottles and like making money as a D1 athlete in the NCAA, so I, I decided to drop out and pursue my dream of <laughs> building Neptune as a company and pursuing my dream of YouTube, and I dropped out with like 20,000 subscribers, and that was about exactly a year ago. This is like, <laughs> This past year has literally been a dream, and I'm happy to say like this this product I'm holding in my hand is Neptune's first custom product. And what that means is we had an industrial engineer design this bottle completely, so uh, you'll notice a lot of details that are customized, I guess. So in the cap there's a ripple, and that's because one of our mission statements is the ripple effect. Uh, one small action can create a ripple of reactions, and that's that's pretty much what Neptune stands for. I guess I haven't really like eloquently stated this yet, but Neptune's mission statement is essentially just to be dedicated to protecting our oceans, our environment, our planet through mindful living. And one of those ways to be mindful is using uh, reusable products rather than single-use plastics. And uh, our bottle is really our first product in our catalog. We really want to expand, but in order to do that, we need time. We have the ripple effect on the cap. We have a carry strap that is actually removable. So if you go to the shop, you'll notice that there's several colors in the carry strap, which is one of the most unique things I think that this bottle has to offer. I don't know any other bottle company that is doing this, which I think is super fun. And I think it's gonna be really cool for customization in the future. As for the product itself, it's a pretty standard insulated water bottle. We added a copper layer, so um, the insulation's even better than before. The coating is very premium. Um, it's like a metallic brush, like matte paint. It's not shiny or anything, and it's just a really beautiful product. The, the logo is laser engraved, and the bottom also has a ripple, kind of ties in with the top. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, it's super, it's super nice. So we have a 20 ounce size in white, and we have a 32 ounce size in black, but you can get whatever color and whatever size you want. Like, they're available in both options. Um, there's also a sticker sheet available. So anyways, I say all that to say this. There is a big Black Friday sale to celebrate the launch of this product. This is really a great opportunity to get yourself a bottle and stand behind a mission that I think is very wholesome and very exciting. So this is just the beginning of Neptune and I really am excited about the impact that we'll have in the future. So yeah, if you get one, you get this cool package. You'll enjoy a really premium bottle and be supporting a very cool cause. So, with that said, we can get into the video. That was probably the longest ad read I've ever had. Eh, okay, bye. Wait, what time is it? It is... 8.07. It is 8.07 p.m. We are at Walmart, the Walmart over there. We're going on a road trip together. Eight hours! We're going to Big Bend National Park. Have you ever been to Big Bend? No, your eyes look really pretty right now. That's gonna be on all the stand pages, just gonna be putting that in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right now, before we get started on the road trip, we're gonna go get some snacky snacks. It was a jokey joke. It was a jokey joke. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Choked my own spit there. For really? Sec. Yeah. I thought it was your gum. Um, <laughs> it was a jokey joke. <laughs> <laughs> it was a jokey joke. <laughs> you already know what I did to that thing. That ain't that right. 
Hey, that shit out. damn it, Judge, you just cut the shit out of my ear. I'm only we playing around. We have to so you can pay some of these goddamn bills. Dad, why are you, come on, you drawing? Like, it's a fucking recording. jokey joke. So we're gonna go get snacks. We're, we're doing, <laughs> it's like an eight hour road trip. We're gonna get there at like 3 a.m. Or maybe we'll stop for some food or something because what's the point of getting there? We can't even check into our Airbnb, which is like, by the way, just this like ruin. Room. It's literally <laughs> called a ruin, <laughs> which is not a good sign. <laughs> I hope it's still there. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to Big Ben. I literally said that already. Road trip <laughs> with Haley. Eight hours? With Bay. Big Ben's the second darkest place in the world, so we're going to see some starry stars. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be our thing. This video clip has been you repeating yourself and been laughing way too hard. <laughs> Go get some snacks. It was a jokey joke. <laughs> Ew! I'm sending a message <laughs> to you. <laughs> This is how close I am to giving up on school. I'm, sure I'm trying to be relatable, relatable to you. If, if you can think of any, this is how close I am to blank jokes, leave them down in the comments down below. Yes. What kind of cliff bars? Definitely peanut butter. Chocolate chip? Are we, are we talking chocolate chip or? Classic straws, I got one thing to say. Stand. How about that? We don't stand. Unless you need them for medical reasons. We'll get the blue one. It is the cheapest. The main reason I'm excited about this trip is because we get to get a sleeping bag. I don't even think we'll need it. She's been like laughing at me because I want a sleeping bag. Tell me if you said sleeping bags. Uh, do, you, do you think we could get a sleeping bag? And I was like, what are we gonna put on the bed? And he's like, yeah, but uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a sleeping bag. I don't sound like that at all, but I did say that. This one's the cheapest. $15 and we it's... We got the last one. Shopping complete. Snacky snacks acquired. Let's get on the road again, shall we? Meal? Oh yeah. And you know what? Let me get a. Thank you, Chicken Water Burger. I'm on the off time pay with my name's Stephanie Mills. Hi, can I get a number two with cheese and ketchup only? Number two with just cheese and ketchup? Yeah, can I get that as a meal? Yes, ma'am. I'm always right to the thing. A Powerade? All right, all right. I'm gonna do food tonight. That will be all. That brings your total to 9.14 at the second window. Thank you. Thank you. What time is it? It's only... 12.22. <laughs> Why are you so energetic? Because I'm in... <laughs> are you keeping that in? Ooh. I caught a guy picking his nose in there. No, you didn't. And then he made eye contact with me, and then he put his finger down, and was like... <laughs> so, we just... We were driving through the night, and there were a lot of deer on the road. We almost so, hit one. We almost hit one. So you were like, you know what, it's not worth it. Also, you started, like, seeing things. Yeah. If you're driving at night for a really long time, like, the, the lights and fatigue just start messing with your brain. So we pulled over and just slept in the car for, like, four, four hours? Five hours? Honestly, more. We pulled over before 4 a.m. Oh wow, what time is it? It's nine. Oh, um, so yeah, we just kind of posted up. We're about two hours away from Big Bend. The weather right now, it's just super overcast and foggy, so hope it, hopefully it clears up. I think it will, but are you excited? We uh, are 17 minutes out. But we're also like two hours early to our Airbnb. I can't wait to show you guys what this Airbnb is because it sounds like, like nice, you know? It sounds like, oh, we're going to, Big Ben, but we're in an Airbnb that doesn't even count. When you guys see what this place is, you're gonna laugh out loud. I don't feel like it's gonna be that bad. Well, <sighs> I feel like relative to where we're like where we are in the middle of nowhere, it should be kind of nice. It's not like a actual house. No, no, no. It's like a room. Yeah, it's a room when there's like an outdoor area. Yeah, which is like I think it's gonna be more fun than like a tent. We were just listening to some like national park conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. Like a podcast, so it's kind of like a little scary, a little spooky. Somebody's gonna get you. Don't do that. I can't imagine you camping here. Like I'm already terrified to come here, and we're in an Airbnb, and y'all literally just tented out here. But yeah, we just hiked up a mountain and put down a tent. Heck no. You've been so sleepy. I know. You kept sleeping. We I like... kept dozing off. I was really trying to fight it because I didn't want her to be driving by herself. Yeah, we actually almost kind of hit a deer, but like I was so cautious, like the speed limit was 80 and I was going 60 most of yeah. it. 
And right when I started to like get a little bit more confident and speed up, there was this huge deer. This dude was massive. And so I just like swerved out of the way because I knew there was no one behind me, but we looked it up and you're not supposed to swerve. Yeah. You're supposed to slow down and honk. And luckily the deer went the opposite direction, but he could have gone in front, like that would have yeah. been pretty bad. Texas is so big that every part of it is so different. Yeah. It's like being in a different state. Yeah, you could like drive three hours and feel like you're somewhere else, but you're still yeah. in Texas. Like we are still in Texas and we've been driving for eight hours. <laughs> That's insane. You I, could drive could across like four states in some other parts of the United States. We could almost be in Florida by now. Oh yeah. We're driving the other way. Oh yeah. So this is what we're working with right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is our landscape. Pretty awesome. Haley. She wants to. So we made it to this town called Terlingua. Terling I'm so white, but it's like very <laughs> close to the actual national park. Oh, and it's wait, like a fun little wait, city. I have a question. You have a, you have Comment a question? down below if it's worse to be, just say it like a white person or try to have an accent. Oh, Which one is good, worse? That's a good. Like, should you just question. accept that you don't have an accent and say Terlingua? Or should you try and be like, Terlingua? <laughs> like, which one's worse for you? I embarrass myself either way. But we just went to the store. Show me what you got from the store. It's all in its packaging, so I can't Oh, really. okay. But it's really cool. Everything's like handmade. Have I not been filming this whole time? So oh, we're here no. at this cafe. I'm excited that there's actually restaurants here because otherwise we're just gonna have to eat like cliff bars. What are you gonna get? I think I have an idea. Here's a tour of my burrito. First, at the in the inside, we have. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I have quesadilla, half of one, apparently. Some sort of sauce, but it's good. And it's potato chips. Salsa. Salsa. Come on, guys. <laughs> Welcome to my crib. It's actually super cool. I, I had lower expectations. I'm gonna give them a tour, okay? Do I have to give you, you a password? You have to go through the troll. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. All right, excuse me. <laughs> so here's the inside. It's literally one room. You have a bed here, concrete walls. There's like this stuff, AC. Uh, they give you water. The air is really dry, so my lips are dry. Let's go, let's go show them our porch thing. I'm gonna fix my lips. Okay. Please do. So here's our little porch where we can eat and look at the stars and stuff. I brought my Eno, so I think I'm gonna set it up here. It seems really fun. I probably already said this like six times, but Big Ben is like the second darkest place in the world. So the stars here in, here in a few hours are gonna be very apparent, very visible, and I'm super excited. I think I'm gonna get situated and then go for a run just because the weather's really nice and I haven't ran in forever, so <laughs> might as well. We feel fat also. So yeah, see you when I see you. I don't know why I did that. Oh no. Let's see that. It's happening. I'm gonna tell them we ran for like an hour, but we just ran for like three minutes. Oh, I'm working on big secret projects. Oh, she's working on secret projects right now, but we're about to watch the sunset probably, and we're just doing some work here in Big Bend. I'm working on a big hydro project, not round six, something a little bigger. Yeah, this is really nice, just kind of like outside nature is still working. Wi-Fi is kind of horrible, awful actually, but it's still, it's still it's nice. Okay. Yeah, it's about to get cold, I think. It's been a nice day. There we go. Is it clearer now? Yeah. Watching the sunset, what do you think about Big Ben so far? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to thank Big Ben for giving me my big ideas. I feel very Big brainstorming session. Yeah, I feel like I really have my thoughts. <laughs> fat? Yeah. Getting fat, guys. Oh my gosh. So, it's a full bulk. <laughs> One day I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut. So I think what we're gonna do is watch the sunset a little bit and then watch the stars. <laughs> no, and then we're gonna work a little more and then we're gonna watch the stars and just talk. Maybe we'll bring you along. <laughs> Wait, you wanna make a montage? Good morning, gamers. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, uh, a little update. As you can tell, it's 
it's not nighttime. Basically, Haley and I, after sunset, went to like this restaurant, like the only restaurant in this little town that we're in. And I'm telling you, this thing was packed. I didn't even know this many people. If you saw this parking lot, you would have been like, what is going on? How are there this many people at Big Bend National Park? I guess it's the only place to eat here because the wait was two and a half hours. Two and a half. So we like put our names on the list and we we're like, okay, we'll just go back because it's not that far to this place. And so we like took a nap and I guess we were just really tired from the road trip because the next thing we know, it's morning. <laughs> so yeah, we're both really hungry and Haley's kind of getting sick. So um, we'll have to watch out for that. I think first things first, we need to go eat. Follow me. I'm learning about finances. You can go to the cafe. Yes, yes. I want French toast. <coughs> <laughs> oh, are you recording that? Last night before we actually <laughs> fell asleep, I tried making campfire. We should get some more firewood so we can do a campfire tonight. Okay. And then we can watch the sunrise. And s'mores. Ooh, we can make s'mores. Where yes. Where do we buy s'mores? We need to go find s'more equipment. S'mores! Wow. I'm gonna show them my fire. There was already like a fire pit, so I didn't really do anything impressive. There was also firewood, so the thing is like, there's not much wood out here other than these bushes, so here it is. It's kind of a disgrace, but the cafe and restaurant is, are like right over there, so we're gonna go over there now. All right, guys, get ready for an awesome, epic, wicked time-lapse to the cafe. <coughs> Bless you. That wasn't very long. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some cafe. God, I look gross. You look cute. Thank you. Can I get bread? Um, can I get a breakfast burrito with ham and bacon? Okay. And what else comes on the burrito? Bacon cheese. Okay, that's perfect. We're at the same exact place again. <laughs> this is like the only place to eat other than that yeah. restaurant that isn't open yet. What do we have on the menu? Well, on the menu, there's lots well, of things, yeah, but, but I got French <laughs> toast. <laughs> How does it feel to be waffle? dating a smart aleck? <laughs> You're a smart aleck. Oh, look at the dog. Oh my god. There's so many dogs here. I just want them all. I have a burrito. You can't put this in. You are pathetic right now. She's I'm like, relaxing. She like can't move. She's so full and has like a sugar coma and she's just like passed out holding a root beer. <laughs> Hello, brethren. Hello. Welcome back to our podcast, where we talk, what should we talk about? Travel. Travel. What's your biggest piece of advice on traveling? Do it. Why? One second, my mouth is spicy. I'm gonna wash it down with some root beer. Stuff's organic, guys. Ugh, it's even more spicy. <laughs> the root beer's so spicy. When I was little, I used to say that Coke was spicy. I mean, like, it makes Mom, sense. it's spicy. Kind of like stings, you know? I know she's gonna drop a gem. Ryan and I. So Ryan and I, <laughs> we were talking a lot about travel and how much perspective what is going on in life. You wanted to have this conversation <laughs> while I was eating my freaking <laughs> chips and salsa and root beer. You're gonna like puke up everything. What you do think. you expect? Have you noticed how nice everyone is here? Mm -hmm. Like I went to the store and I was like picking out s'more stuff and the girl next to me was like, she's looking for the same stuff I'm looking for. And I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna make s'mores tonight. And she was like, I know, I brought my stuff to make s'mores and I forgot it, can you believe that? And I was like, we're just strangers and no one yeah. like in the modern day world would talk like that to each other. No way. And that's why this is travel. To see people or to meet people. To see different ways that people live their lives. Yeah. It can be very eye opening. Yeah, like there were some kids here. We were like that cafe that we ate at. There was a bunch of kids here that like live here. And we were talking about how like imagine if they like the their York. first time leaving the town was just like a trip to to New York. Like that'd be insane. I wonder how much of like a connection to the real world they have here. What's to say this ain't the real world, baby? Yeah, exactly. So I added that baby part and I have to cut that out. No, I'm not. Um I kinda wanna tell you guys about like this the tr details of this trip like cost wise i think that's pretty interesting Haley and i live in texas well i don't live in texas yet i'm from texas by the way if anyone wants my florida apartment downtown tampa let me know there's an email in the description <laughs> please so we can meet together i have a few people interested in it but couldn't hurt to like get more people in touch Some more know? serious yeah people both from texas big ben national park is in texas it's like on the mexico mexico border uh it's like 10 it's like a eight hour drive how much would you say we spent in gas on the way here i would say like 50 because we still have a full tank we've we've 
filled up three times already, so $75-ish. No, but like when we fill up, it's not even a full tank. I bet we spent less than $50 on gas. Yeah. And our Airbnb for three nights is $200 total. It's like $50 a night, but Airbnb has like their extra fees and taxes. So total, that's $250 divided by two to go to a really like amazing place. The funny thing is like we're not even doing the crazy touristy things. Like tomorrow we're gonna go for a hike, but there's just something about being out here that it's like, it's nice. Mm -hmm. It's literally silent here. Mm-hmm. I think it's just so worth it. Like people spend their money on different things, but yeah. people who say that travel is like too expensive or too frivolous, I think it's so worth it. Like out of all the things you should spend your money on, yeah. it's definitely an experience. No one can take your memories. Sorry. Nerd. And that was very cringy. But even if you have like more people than two people, it'd be even cheaper. Like I came here, I came here in February with all my roommates. We had like six people. Are so gas was, yeah, we, we didn't even have an Air Airbnb. We had like a tent <laughs> and we brought it up a five mile hike. <laughs> we also had our sleeping bags. We had a backpack, sleeping bags, and that tent. Mm -mm. It was a lot to carry. But what I realized from traveling with my roommates at the beginning of the year, you don't have to have like a lot of money to like travel and be happy. Like we were all pretty mm -hmm. broke at the time. Yeah. And that was like some of my best memories because I'd never been out of the state really. I think the best part is like talking on road trips though. Mm -hmm. Like we had a really good conversation. We almost hit a deer. Here. Yeah, and we almost hit a deer. Where do you want to travel next? Apart from all the travel we already have planned, Utah and New York. Utah's so pretty. I've never been. I've been to both of those places. I can't believe it. And those are like the few places that I've been. I used to think I wanted to live in New York. I think it'd be really interesting to, really interesting to visit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never. That's unreal. Had burps like oh my, in my god! Life. It's the root beer. I love root beer. <laughs> You're drinking so much. Do you guys remember when she was like on the bed, passed out because she drank like a root beer this big? <laughs> Two of them. Two of them. Like, and like a root beer this big. <laughs> and now I have a bigger oh my one. God. <laughs> Our diet, that's the one thing about traveling, your diet just goes out the window. Well, okay, most vacations I'm like, I'm going for work. <laughs> that was almost one, puked. This one is like vacation for me. But we're still working. Barely. You are more than I am because I just came off like a work yeah, trip. So I'm like, trip. I'm chilling. <laughs> My chair like full in and out. Anyway, so how's this trip compared to like when you went with the boys? I think you and I are a lot more similar. Like the boys, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. It's Theo, Brett, George, Ryan, and Matthew Abrahams. Four of them were my roommates. Matthew is just our friend, good friend. We're both a lot alike in the fact that we are very chill mm -hmm. and we're okay with like not doing just anything. soaking everything up that this place has to offer. And I think there's pros and cons to both. Yeah. Like it was nice. Like Theo would like push us to do the craziest things and sometimes it was exhausting, but it was at the end of the day, it was worth it. Like we had this five mile hike. The only campground that was available was five miles on top of a mountain and we had so many heavy things to carry. So I was one of the people I was like, I don't know if this is worth it. And I was like trying to start this kind of like movement to like not do it and to sleep in the car. And we ended up going and it was like so worth it. I think something I've learned about myself on this trip is I'm a little addicted to working because I think it was like earlier today or like yesterday, I kind of like freaked out a little bit because we were in the middle of nowhere mm -hmm. and I didn't have Wi-Fi. And that's one of those things I always pride myself on. Like, I'm not addicted to my phone. Like if I didn't yeah. have Wi-Fi, I'd be fine. But on this trip, I kind of learned like I really need it because I feel like I'm like out of touch mm -hmm. and like I need to like be working and my job is on the Internet. So I'm like, I need to like go back and yeah, there are, like so many projects that I want to do. And I don't know why, like these three days feel like life or death to me. Yeah, I'm like, I even thought about like going home early. I'm not really? even going to lie. No, I, was, I did like, too. Yeah, because I was like, we have so many things to do. It's like Black Friday. Yeah. The day we get back and like I have so much to do for like my merch and I just like want to have. I just, I don't know, but I think there, it's also good because we love working and we're just really lucky that we have a job that makes us like want to go do it. Yeah, it's not like a negative no, thing at all. No, it's just something I've learned about It's a about source myself. of happiness too yeah. for us to work. It's just something I didn't it's, know. You know what I never did before I met you? What? I used to never call like my job, which I think it is a job, like work. Like you'd be like, really? you know, I'm going to go to the coffee, coffee shop and work. And I'm like, I was like, whoa. Whenever you first said that, I was like, oh my gosh, work. I would just say like go and edit or go like do specifically what I was gonna do. Mm -hmm. I'd never refer to it as work. I think it's interesting. You know it's almost weird? like exciting to call it work though. That's weird that you say that because I never thought about my job as like a job or work until I met you. What? Because you had such a like business approach to it where I was kind of just like doing it. Oh wow. And then I got like this business mindset about it because of you. So that's really weird that you like, got <laughs> What's that. What's going on? Apparently I inspired him to spend less money and start reading books, so. Yeah. No wonder your dad likes me. <laughs> Ronnie, 
<laughs> I'm doing him good. Leave that in so you can watch it. Yeah, he'll like that. It's funny because I thought I was addicted to my phone, but like the only things I really care about is like staying in contact with my manager and emails. That's it. I think the reason it's bad for me right now it's because I already went a week without it. Oh, did and you? now I'm like oh, continuing. Yeah, that's right, that's right. So I like after the Bahamas trip, I was like, okay, I'm gonna like go into work. And then I went on another trip yeah. where I'm like not, and I'm still disconnected. So I'm like, oh my gosh, the world's going on without me. Like, <laughs> I have projects, I have things to get done. It is really wild how much we depend on it. Mm -hmm. Like literally everything. I think that's just like the advancement of society. It's gonna be like one of those things that we just like we were we rely on like like plumbing and stuff. Mm -hmm. Gonna be another one of those things. Ryan and I were talking about earlier how our lifetimes are so interesting because oh. people before us grew up their entire childhood with zero phones and then our generation grew up like half childhood without phones and the other half with and then the next generation is gonna grow up with phones. So yeah. we're like right in the middle. We were talking about how good it, it was because our childhood was so wholesome. Yeah, and, and like we uh, actually played and like yeah. went on bikes and with our neighbors and I don't know if that's still happening but I did see it like this restaurant. There's like this area in the back where people like where kids play or like where I played as a kid and now I just see kids like on their phones in the restaurant. Wow. So I was like wow that's different that like we all would yeah. have been outside talking to each other and stuff. Yeah. And a lot of people say that's like really bad but the only reason that we see it as bad is because our childhood was different i think yeah. like they're probably still having just as much fun and it might not look as like wholesome or real but i just don't want to lose the you know human like interaction yeah and like them learning how to be social yeah because imagine like never having to do that because you had your phone yeah and then going to like like social aspects of, of life are so important because i have Could've i have happened. a person in my life who isn't that smart but they're so good socially, so they get so far business-wise, yeah. and you really need that, and that's the one thing I would like. You know what's interesting? I feel like I wasn't, I feel like I learned to be social, like, in high school, like, well beyond my childhood. Mm -hmm. But a lot of kids are, I think it comes naturally to a lot of people, and some people, like... For me, it was definitely practice. Oh, I think practice is, like, the number one thing. In the comments down below, let us know where you want to travel. What if we played a game where we're, like, comment places you'd want to see us travel, and then we, like, scrolled with our eyes closed and picked one, and then we had to go That'd there. That'd be a really cool video. That'd be so cool. It's, like, spontaneous. Or, you know, people who, like, just go to the airport, and they're like, what's the cheapest flight? Yeah. Wow. I want to do that one day. We really could. What I do when I have to no, I think I have to poop. Okay. All right, guys, I'm gonna go take a sh probably take some pictures. What do you think? How's that sound? No cussing is what I. Think. I censored it. Hello, Ryan is pooping right now, but I just want to tell you all that it's been super cool watching Ryan work on new Hydra designs, and I can't wait for y'all to see it. And I can't wait to wear it. And he's super duper awesome, dude. You should definitely keep supporting him. Um, thank you for coming to my ASMR support, Ryan. Okay. And you made it to the end of the video. Um, I'm recording this on my iPhone because the laptop quality was so bad. Yeah, this was a really long video. It was like 30 minutes. Thanks so much for watching. I'm flattered to say the least. Are you flattered, Haley? Uh, the black, I'm not, uh, Oh no, she's... Anyways, yeah, I feel the need to remind you <laughs> about that spiel at the beginning about Neptune. Uh, if you guys are interested in a bottle or even if you just want like stickers, It'll be the top link in the description. We have a big Black Friday sale. We really don't do sales throughout the year. What? We don't do sales throughout the year. Um, Black Friday is literally the only time. We've only done one Kickstarter campaign and that's the only other time. So if you guys wanna get any of your Neptune products, now's the chance. If you guys made it this far, please like the video. I appreciate you so much. Let me know what you think about this kind of video. I know it was different. I, I have a whole vlog channel where I post more stuff like this. Uh, but let me know if you like this and be honest. If you didn't like it, let me know. It helps me for future content. Follow me on Instagram. If you're still watching, comment. I don't even know. I don't even know how to spell ukulele. I'm not gonna tell them to spell that. Comment plant. Confuse the heck out of everybody in the comments section. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Let me know if you guys get some Neptune stuff. DM me or comment or something. I don't know. See you guys next time. Peace.